Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to The Longing. It's day 394. Uh, I, I've just realized that what I'd planned for today's video, I just haven't done at all. So that's good. Um, t in today's advent calendar spot, there was a little bell. We only got the bell a couple days ago, our first bell a couple days ago. But um, we've already had a repeat of it, so great. Only a few days left. I, d I doubt we're going to get a new shape uh, tomorrow or the next day. Well, tomorrow is actually the last, the only day that we're going to get a small piece of chocolate because day 24 is obviously a big one. That's how advent calendars work. And, and then it'll all be over. Well, it won't all be over. I mean, we still, we'll still have Christmas Day. But there'll be no more advent calendar. Not until next year. And I won't be making these videos next year. So, you know, enjoy it while you can. Uh, I have had a new experience in VR. And I got, I'd, admittedly, most experiences in VR are pretty new. They're not exactly everyday experiences. You know, like shooting a robot or cutting off someone's head. But I have had a brand new experience that is, it, it's really impressive, and I love it so much. Uh, the Oculus Rift, Quest, sorry, well the Rift may have it too. But the Quest 2, and possibly other VR headsets, have got hand tracking, which uh, basically means that it will track your hands in real time, uh, and it will, you know, track them in 3D space. I think it's absolutely incredible technology. You don't need to, like, be in a special room. It'll just do it in, like, your living room or whatever. I think it's incredible. Uh, and I played a game that uses this. It's called Hand Physics Lab. Uh, and it's very good. And I'm mad that people are reviewing it badly. <laughs> because they're not kind of... It's, it's not, you know, it's not a game like Blade and Sorcery is a game. Or, like, Beat Saber is a game. It's uh, more like a playground of interesting things to do with your hands. See, so you're picking up boxes, you're painting things, you're flicking switches, you're dragging things around. But there's something about it being in VR which makes it so much fun. And I really don't know what. It literally one of the one of the puzzles. There's like a puzzle section, a playground section. You play the puzzles to unlock more stuff in the playground. Um, and one of the one of most most of the puzzles are the simplest thing in the world. One of them was put these boxes in the order that's in front of you, or press these buttons in this order. Stuff like that. It's it's very easy. But there's something about it being in VR and knowing that I don't have any controllers in my hand or anything like that that kind of makes it. It's it's pretty astounding. And, I, and I'm having a lot of fun just messing around with it. Uh, it is a shame that the it, it, it has 3.6 stars on the Oculus Store, I think. Which isn't bad. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Uh, but a lot of people, I, I read some of the reviews and people were like, this isn't a game at all. It's just picking up boxes and putting them in a bowl or whatever. But that's not the point. It's, it's, the, it's the perfect showing off of this hand tracking technology. And, you know, you know, when it once it improves and, you know, when the technology improves, then, you know, we can do so much more with it. When the fir when VR first came out and all we had was a horror game where you walk down a corridor and then a, a low polygon ghost jumps out at you, we've gone from that to, you know, the Five Nights at Freddy's VR game, which is incredibly detailed and terrifying. And, you know, we've got, you know, Blade and so we Half-Life Alex. we've got now. That, that was uh, what I would say is the first AAA VR game. I know that other games have, like, added VR modes, but Half-Life Alex was, like, built from the ground up to be in VR. I think it's incredible. And so, with this hand-tracking technology, in a few years, we won't have VR controllers. You'll just need the headset. Just use your hands for everything. You do. People are making hand controllers that, like, gloves and stuff. I, I think it, it really is an incredible medium of video games, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Because I think it, it really is progressing a mile a minute. You know, a year from now we'll have something different, and a year from then we'll have, you know, we'll we'll be living in the Matrix, which, if it's as fun as the rest of VR is, I'm okay with that. 
uh, I will go on record saying that. So if you need to quote me, go ahead. Uh, aside from that, not did anything else today. Went to work. That was fine. And it's almost Christmas. Just a couple days. Well, three days. A few days. Uh, and if anyone's wondering, I've done 3,000 steps today. Except I've probably done a lot more because I don't keep my phone in my pocket. Uh, when I'm working and walking around. So I've probably done... I've probably done my 10k. That's it. Maybe not. Maybe I can't have done 10,000. Maybe I have. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Hope you've all had a really, really lovely day. And I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll take this piece of coal as a parting gift. <laughs>